Hello, and welcome to Foundations in Teaching Social Studies. My name is Mrs. Beatriz Gonzalez, and I will be guiding you as we go through the entire eighth grade U.S. history curriculum, starting with module one today, Exploration and Colonization. We'll be going over the three European countries that colonized North America. This includes Spain, France, and Britain. Every module will include supplies or resources that you will need to complete that module. So for today, you need handout M1, which is module one, European Exploration and Colonization. And you'll also need a red, green, and orange color crayon marker, colored pencil, or even highlighter. And of course, something to write with. Go ahead and grab those resources. If you don't have them just yet, you can press pause and then come back when you're ready and press play. These are the standards we'll be covering in today's module. Why did Europeans explore the world's oceans and colonize the Americas? That's our guiding question for today. And we're going to go ahead and get started with Spain. Now, Spanish exploration and colonization, the three main reasons or motives, you might have heard your teacher talk about this, are gold, glory, and God. Now, not in any specific order, but those are the three primary reasons. Initially, Europeans wanted to find a shorter route to get to India. India had a lot of spices and perfumes, precious stones, things, goods that they didn't have in Europe. And Christopher Columbus was commissioned by King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella to find that shorter route to India. He had an idea of sailing west and ending up in the east since the world is round. Little did he know that he was going to discover two whole new continents, which are North and South America. He actually landed in what later became known as the West Indies because he actually thought he was in India and hence why they call Native Americans Indians. Now he claimed the West Indies for Spain. He established Spain's first settlements in what became known as the New World. Other explorers, missionaries, and colonists soon followed. This is where you're going to write your notes. So you have your resource right in front of you. You go ahead and you press pause every time you see this graphic organizer and you write down your notes. And it says Columbus wanted to find a shorter route to India slash Asia. Go ahead and press pause so you can finish. The Colombian exchange was the exchange of goods, people, animals, plants, diseases, and ways of life. This exchange was between the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere. Not all of the things that were exchanged were good. The Europeans brought diseases such as smallpox, typhus, cholera, and even measles. These diseases killed many native people and their way of life was changed forever. Many Native Americans were forced to work in sugarcane plantations and were forced to give up their beliefs for Christianity. They were converted in Spanish missions. Now, Spanish colonization had three main motives, gold, glory, and God. The prospect of finding gold and other riches motivated Spanish exploration and colonization. Glory is the idea of expanding your empire by acquiring more land for the crown. And God, well, Spain was motivated to spread Christianity by setting up missions to convert Native Americans. Go ahead and fill up your graphic organizer. Under gold, you're going to write search for wealth, glory, expand empire, and God spread Christianity and go ahead and put missions in parentheses. You might think of missions uh, such as you might be familiar with missions like in San Antonio, Texas, there's a Spanish mission, or even missions later in California, such as um, San Diego and Los Angeles and San Francisco. All of those were initially Spanish missions. Now, Spanish settlement included present-day Florida and most of the land near and around South America, Texas, Mexico, and California. Go ahead and take a look at the map, and you'll notice that Spain is the green areas. So you see Florida and present-day California, Texas, New Mexico, and Mexico, of course. So on your graphic organizer in the map section, I want you to press pause right now and color in this area that Spain claimed. Now here's a star question. It has a graphic organizer and I want you to take a look at it, press pause, and then after you've chosen your answer, go ahead and press play. You should have answered C, 
to expand empires because that's the glory part. If you notice on the three, the three boxes to increase wealth, well, that's, that's gold. And then to spread Christianity, that's God. So the only motive missing was glory, which is expanding empires. Now let's move on to French exploration and colonization. And this one's going to be so easy. All you have to remember is the French came for fur. Literally, they came to make a profit in the fur trade business. Take a look at that picture, what you see there. What are some things you see? You should see a trade. And what the Native Americans would do is they bring in fur to the French fur traders. And the, the fur traders would then provide them with different goods, such as guns or even things like pots and forks and spoons and mirrors. So other Europeans... Uh, rulers were envious of Spain's power in the Americas. They set their own explorers to the New World. New France stretched across the Appalachian Mountains, past the Ohio River Valley, and all the way to the Rocky Mountains. Take a look at the map. That yellow shaded area, that was all French settlement. Go ahead and press pause and color it in. Don't forget to color in those rivers, which are going to be really important for the entire school year. The whole curriculum, you're going to see that these rivers, specifically the Mississippi River, is going to play integral parts in us acquiring new land, fighting during wars. Make sure that you include that in your map. French explorers found that the region contained valuable fur-bearing animals, especially beavers. This prompted French colonists to engage in an active fur trade with the Native Americans. So, why did the French come to colonize? For the fur, right? The fur trade. A profit making extra money in fur trade. Go ahead and fill up, fill up your graphic organizer. Feel free to press pause so that you have enough time to fill it out. Now here's another star question. Which of the following was a primary reason France sought, which means wanted, to colonize North America? Go ahead and press pause as you read the answer choices and select a correct answer. You should have answered H, to profit, so to make that extra money from trading in furs and other goods. That was French exploration and colonization. Let's move on to British exploration and colonization. There's four main reasons, religion, economic, political, and social. And we're going to go ahead and explore what those four reasons uh, actually mean. England's rulers desired to, to stake a claim for lands and riches in the New World. England's colonies were established for political, economic, religious, and social reasons. 13 total colonies were established. They were divided into three regions. The New England colonies, which you see in blue. Go ahead and take a look at the map. The middle colonies, which you see in green. And the southern colonies that you see in brown. In England, the government told people what religion they had to believe in. People who had different beliefs were persecuted, which means punished. Make sure we know this word. Many people, such as pilgrims, Puritans, Quakers, and Catholics, they left England to escape persecution and to seek religious freedom in the Americas. So make sure we know that when it comes to religion, the main reason why these individuals left England was because they were escaping persecution and they were seeking, they were looking for religious freedom. Go ahead and write that down on your graphic organizer. Again, feel free to press pause. Some colonies were founded by groups of business people who wanted an opportunity to make money. Virginia, the first English colony in North America, was formed as a business venture. Tobacco became Virginia's main source of wealth. Even though the Jamestown, Jamestown colonists initially went looking for gold, thinking they were going to be tripping over gold, their gold actually became tobacco. And tobacco plantations are what fueled their colony to success. Go ahead and write economic, wealth, and then your three money signs. Now, colonies such as New York, New Jersey, and Delaware were founded for political reasons. The most powerful countries of Europe saw colonies as a way to extend their economic and political power. Competition between European countries sometimes spilled over into the Americas. For example, England captured the Dutch colony of New Netherlands and then renamed it New York. The King of England gave it to his brother, the Duke of York. 
And so, and then the Duke of York ended up giving that little piece called New Jersey to his two friends, calling it New Jersey. Go ahead and write political, which actually means just acquiring more land for the crown. The colonies such as uh, Georgia were established for social reasons. In Europe, people who face poverty left in search of a better life. In Europe, if you were a debtor, meaning you owed money, they'd put you in jail and wouldn't let you get out until you paid for your debt. How are you ever going to pay your debt if you were in jail? So James Oglethorpe formed the colony of Georgia as a place for imprisoned debtors and convicts or criminals. Georgia was established for social reasons. They wanted to make a better life for themselves. Go ahead and write that down. The 13 colonies were established along the east coast of the Atlantic Ocean. The Appalachian Mountains were the physical feature that acted as a boundary for the British to expand west. So all along this light purple area here are actually the Appalachian Mountains. And they're what made it difficult for the colonies to keep expanding west. Go ahead and color in your map. And our star question Catholics immigrated to Maryland colony in the 17th century primarily to. Go ahead and press pause, read those answer choices, and select your answer. So as soon as you see a religious group, you should know that they were escaping persecution and they were seeking religious freedom. So your answer is J, escape persecution. This completes module number one. Make sure that your map looks like this and that you've also labeled the oceans and added your compass rose to it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you for module two.